sharing and learning from the experiences of others, their lives, their stories, their cultures. I leave you today with an artist who has embraced two completely different cultures and used the best of both worlds to grow in his craft. As always, if you have any comments, please write in and tell us. Thanks for watching No War Zone. I'll see you next week. But till then, here is Tilak Samara Wikrama. Tilak Samara Wikrama has led an enviable life. A scholar, lover and practitioner of art, his education, life and work has led him all around the world and has introduced him to the creme de la creme of the art scenes of cities such as Colombo, New York and Milan. Here at his house in Colombo, I'm here to find out more about what has shaped and influenced his colourful career. Tilak began his education as a scholar of architecture, first in Sri Lanka and then in Italy. But despite living, learning and later earning in Italy over a period of about 15 years, Tilak's style of drawing retained a predominantly singular flavour, a characteristic that he attributes to both his cultural roots and the interest Italians expressed in Sri Lankan cultural tradition. Italians love my drawing, you know. I mean, they, they, they love the singular calligraphy, you know. There are architects who commissioned me to do large blow-ups drawings of the single alphabet for their living rooms, for instance, you know, because they found it so stylish, you know. So, uh, and then they quickly uh, uh, f saw the link to the calligraphy, my drawing, and the contemporary world of art and design. Tilak's years in Italy inspired him greatly, so much so that These he compiled a book of his line stage. drawings okay. called Ink of this Lanka, in which also chronicled his time seven. there and how it helped and him grow I, as an artist. I virtually documented, Italy, you know, especially yeah. the city of Milan, exposed him to leading artists and critics from different disciplines and encouraged him These to branch out and explore new frontiers in his own artistic career. That particular period is, uh, uh, it had a profound impact on my life, you know where I was virtually living as an artist for 12 years in Italy and uh, uh, just a year in New York. So uh, the people I moved with, the, you know, uh, whom I associated with, I mean, um, the city of Milan especially had a tremendous impact on whatever I did later on in life. The result, the making of Tilak's short animated film, Andere, which brought his line drawings of the famous character from Sri Lankan folklore to life. Tilak's attempts to bring his line drawings to life didn't just end there. His house now acts as a gallery of sorts for life-size wire sculptures adapted from his line drawing portfolio. I had always wanted to do this. And uh, we had done it on a smaller scale earlier, virtually, you know, slightly bigger than the original, like. So the first opportunity I got uh, to do it at, at this scale, and I found the right technical person, who was a young architectural student who was working with me. Uh, we uh, worked together and produced this. So I, I find this work very exciting because, uh, especially with the shadow effect, you know, I mean, it gives a totally different dimension. Tilak's experimentations with other artistic disciplines appears to know no bounds. Returning briefly to Sri Lanka in the 80s, he went on to revolutionize the crafts culture within the country, transforming rural crafts made according to age-old traditions into internationally marketable products. Whilst living in Milan, you know, all that experience, uh, I had, uh, and the exposure that I had to contemporary design, uh, when I returned, I, I, I felt that I should, you know, translate that to my own country someday. And, and that opportunity I got when I was uh, um, appointed design consultant to the National Design Centre in '86. I was able to take uh, this product from this remote village in Talogone, Udadumbara, within two, three years, to the MoMA Design Store in New York, and they marketed it for, marketed it for eight years. Still for all, Tilak has remained an architect at his core. 
and while his drawings and sculptures have remained true to their cultural roots, his style of architecture has, in contrast, been heavily influenced by the West and the time he spent in Europe. In Sri Lanka, he devoted much of his time to designing industrial buildings in a contemporary style and his efforts have earned him prestigious accolades. Tilak, you have exhibited your art all around the world. Yeah. You've um, designed buildings, you've made art of every conceivable kind, you've written a book. Um, what's next for uh, Tilak Samarikram? Now, with the current technology available digitally, one can do animation much faster. So I'm hoping to explore that uh, avenue now, you know, to go into animation and see what I can do with uh, the line drawings. For now, Tilak's winding, colourful journey seems to have settled in Sri Lanka. But for a multifaceted artist such as himself, it is never quite the end of the story. Mm -hmm.